Hi folks, it's Danny at Bradley James Classics and today's instantly recognisable classic is of course a Morris Minotaura. This is a Series 4 car from 1964 and being a Series 4 car that means it's going to have the much better to live with 1098cc engine, a stronger 4 speed manual gearbox and just generally a car which is capable of putting up with the rigors of modern day driving. You've got an impressive top speed of 77 miles an hour. And boy, do you know you're doing it in one of these if you do 77 miles an hour. I think these like to sit somewhere between 50 and 60 and maybe 65 if you're feeling sporty. However, um, this particular car does present extremely well. It's showing a speedo reading of just 3,000 miles and the previous owner of 10 years uh, was pretty convinced from when he bought it from a, a previous owner they were pretty convinced that was genuine now we have uh, MOT certificates going back as far as 2004 and the car only had early 40s back then so obviously she hasn't had a lot of use she hasn't um, been used extensively but she's been kept garaged and she's been extremely well maintained and the engine is tight and sweet starts on the button literally because there's a pull out button on these not a ignition key and she's powerful and smooth and a pleasure to drive in fact i've driven her this morning just to check her over we've had her in our workshop up on, up on the ramp and i can confirm this is a super solid example of the lovely Morris Minor. Now, during the era, the two white colours they made these Morris Miners in were either called a Snowberry White or an Old English White, which was a creamy white. Um, now, this one is likely to be the Old English White. Uh, it has a contrasting red roof, which is in excellent condition with no holes, no tears. And the interior is red, which matches the roof, and the interior is in beautiful condition. It also has red carpet sat there in great nick. Um, in fact, all round the car is in very good condition. Now, the car isn't a concourse car that you can expect to go to the concourse clubs and, and win first prize, because the car is actually a everyday working classic, and it would be a crime not to go out and enjoy driving this car, I'd say. The car is certainly good enough to take to the car shows. However, just to make it perfectly clear, the car does have, as you would expect, for a car that's uh, uh, closer to 60 than 50, it's, uh, it's got one or two imperfections that I'm going to point out to you, but you're probably not being able to use too many fingers to count them on because there really is not much wrong with this car. Um, Condition-wise, I would say it is in very good condition, excellent condition in fact. Uh, the bodywork is in really good shape, it's shiny, it's got a nice coat of wax on it. Um, and when I get in close to show you some of these imperfections, you'll see that we are talking a minor. Morris Minor. So, let's have a look here. Uh, this chrome presents really well. That uh, colour-coded grille looks great. Uh, I'm not seeing any damage. This wing, excellent condition. If I get in closely here, there's a few marks on that door. Now my guess is that perhaps at some stage that door opened a little too far onto the, the wing, but it looks fine. You've got a chrome trim down at the bottom. That's always a very good idea on these. And the bottom of those doors, this side is in really good order. That's often an area where they go. The rest of that door looks great. Um, the rear wing looks excellent, as is this rear panel. Through the back here, the chrome, if I get in really close, you're gonna see a little speckling, but nothing serious. Um, this bumper, it's got a little bit of a chip in the paintwork there, nothing major. The bottom of this front boot lid is excellent, um, as is that whole panel. The chrome on here is good, and those rear lights and those brackets onto the boot. This rear wing is in excellent condition if I get down very slowly there, I can see one minor spot here, but the rest of that door is perfect and you've got that same chrome trim. This rear panel, rear wing, passenger and inside door and through to the front wing, all in good condition. 
as is the bonnet. So we've had a good quick look around the car together and it really does present extremely well and as you're seeing it here in the camera I can assure you that it does look as nice in your glass. It's got the period black and silver number plates look great. The red stripe corresponds really nicely with the colour of the interior. Personally I find this uh, colour scheme really attractive on these Morris Miners. It's a lovely day here in the Hampshire countryside and it definitely is as lovely as a Morris Miner convertible. It doesn't take long to whip that roof off, up. I will give you a demo in a second and I'm now going to show you inside. That's nice and easy on this convertible car. This rear seat clearly has been replaced or retrimmed because it is virtually good as new. Um, a similar thing must be said about the passenger seat. That is in excellent condition, as are the door cards with chrome in here. Um, the uh, driver's seat is in excellent condition, as is the door card, as are all the carpets. Uh, looking across the dashboard, I've got some chips just around the top of the speedos there, which I think very much are this age. This switch gear looks good. Lovely to have its original steering wheel. Now this one has traditional indicators, not like the early split screen models that had the trafficators that used to come out the side. All the tops of these doors have got the correct chrome on them as they should. You've got the heavy quarter light opening windows. And well, generally speaking, I can't see anything here which is non-standard. So whenever we sell a Morris Minor, people will always say, has it got a servo? Has it got shock absorbers? Has someone fitted, you know, a beefier uh, engine from a Morris Marina or something like that? Well, the answer, folks, is that this car is standard. Um, it, it doesn't have any of those upgrades. There's no disc brakes, there's no servo, there's no shock absorbers. It's running the factory setup of the le lever arms on the front. Um, it starts and drives perfectly well. to detract from the value of an original car however uh, there are those who use these cars regularly and they do benefit from these upgrades i think it's a good idea to make sure you keep the old parts just in case you decided to beef up suspension and brakes etc it's really nice to run them as standard so keep hold of those parts because i think people who collect and love these cars like to keep them standard so uh, i promised you a quick demo of this roof now I'm going to have to do this with the one hand, but it's not too tricky to do it. Literally, there's the roof, there's the frame. I'm going to get it from the middle. And in fact, I would recommend using two hands, but I'm going to try and do it with the one. I'm going to regret it immediately, of course. No, I think I'm winning. It's coming. Ah, a bit more. I'll tell you what, folks. I'm going to put this camera down for one second, and I'm going to... Just point it this way for a sec. I need both hands for this. Nearly there. And what happens is that you've got these little lugs that go into these holes and then you've got some little screws now what i'm going to do is because it is proving a little challenging than i thought to pull that roof up with one hand i'm just going to have a little walk around from a little distance here now even though i haven't attached the roof on there fully i just wanted to give you an idea of what the car looked like with this red roof um it does have this flap all the way down here actually sits inside the car uh, and that actually helps um, and in fact these these areas here that you can see pull over and it pr provides a watertight seal so what I'll probably do is in the photographs you'll see a, a proper photo with the roof up um, and basically what you need to do those sort of concertina type uh, framework needs to be push together and that makes the roof sit flat and then you just screw it down so I just wanted to give you a bit of an idea what it looked like as is so 
Um, I can tell you that this car recently had an MOT. In fact, it was done, I believe it was April 2022. Um, it had um, the garage in which used to look after this car did in fact overhaul the braking system, which entailed replacing uh, brake, uh, uh, sorry, uh, wheel cylinders um, and, and, and obviously the brake fluid and just making sure the brakes were overhauled and it does break very nicely and also while it was in they decided to uh, treat the car to uh, welding into the uh, new floor panels I think the car had previously been done and while it was in there their trusted garage had replaced some older welded panels and um, put new ones in and fully under sealed it now it's very important when you buy these Morris miners you need to sort of buy them from underneath as well as on top because like any car of this age, it is going to be susceptible to uh, structural corrosion and it's important to keep on top of that. And of course, it's very important when you buy them in these days of MOT exempt, you don't want to be buying a car that unknown to you will require a thousand pound of welding to put right. Absolutely not so with this car. This car is solid as a rock, new floor underneath, all under sealed and we've inspected it and all the cars that we sell go through a very thorough PDI before they leave us to make sure that they are good, reliable cars that you can jump in and enjoy. So be rest assured it's something we check. Now, um, the car does come with a, uh, a number of receipts and the previous owner's 10 years of maintaining the car. It does come with a, a, a bunch of old MOTs. And actually, when we check the MOT history, this car, again, due to this very low mileage, uh, really did not uh, present too many problems at the MOT test. So it is a turnkey classic. It's good to go. We offer a full UK delivery service at a very competitive price. We can offer a part exchange service where you can uh, part exchange your uh, existing classic car. We also part exchange modern cars and even light commercials. So in fact, we try our best to facilitate a deal by allowing that part exchange service because people want to make things easy. Um, up in the top car park is a couple of the trucks that we use to deliver our cars all around the country. And we will do that efficiently. And generally speaking, all our cars arrive in the morning. We can help you with the paperwork our end. We can recommend a, a good classic car insurer to you. In fact, we even have a discount code for the first year of classic car insurance. So we can help you with paperwork. We can recommend an insurer and we can deliver the car. So we can be a real one-stop shop. If you live within a reasonable driving range, all our classic car customers from Bradley James Classics will get a 10% discount in our own classic car garage here in North Hampshire. So if you'd like to come and see the car, please get in touch and I'll be delighted to show you this lovely little Morris Minor. If you'd like to have a, um, a visit, please um, call us. All our appointments have to be uh, uh, set up in advance so it is by appointment only because we do have a lot of cars on site and we are a busy little garage here so we do need to make sure that we know when you're coming and we can assist you by either picking you up at the local railway station or if it's a nice day and you want to stroll it takes less than 10 minutes to walk from Overton railway station to our little business park here in Overton. Well folks this is a particularly nice example of a Morris Minor 1000 with a 1098cc four-speed manual gearbox. It's a Morris Minor Tourer, a genuine car in lovely order, uh, lovely contrasting red roof with a white bodywork, excellent interior, drives extremely well, super original car, and a real pleasure. So thank you very much for spending 14 minutes with me looking at this classic car today. It's Danny at Bradley James Classics, signing out.